The last thing we're going to be doing here is adding in text and saving our file as a JPEG. So the text tool in GIMP is a little bit confusing. I'm going to go over all the options with you. But the first thing you want to do is click right here where it says text tool. Notice all the options will pop up here on the bottom. Uh, the first thing you want to change is the color. So you can click on the color bar and pick whatever color you want anywhere on here. And I'm just going to pick white, which you can do by sliding to the bottom right. or just picking it from here because I think white will show up well against this background. And when you want to add text, you're just going to click wherever you want the text to be. Don't worry about getting it perfect. We can always move it later. So it'll open up a GIMP text editor box. And then that's where you type in whatever word you want. And I always do a different box for each word so I can move them around separately. So my first word is going to be the. And notice before you press enter or anything, this is way too small. So what we're going to do is change the size over here. Right now it's size 18, which is entirely too small. We'll see what happens if I do if I do 200 and press enter. Uh, it looks like I can do even bigger, maybe 300. All right, that looks good. And if you wanted to change the font, you would just click on this box right here. And you could change it to whatever fonts you have installed in your machine. We'll go over those in a later tutorial. Um, for right now, I'm just going to use the default. And that's it. You can close the text box and then do the same thing for anything else. So I'm going to call this book The Barn. And whenever you click, it'll open up a new text box. If you don't want a new text box, you can always just hit close and it'll go away. And I want this to actually be a little bit bigger. We'll make it 500. All right. And notice this does create a new layer for each one of the text box that you have open. Now, if you want to move these around, you can always do it using the Move tool. And the one thing you have to be careful of is if you see the little hand like it is right now, what that's going to do is actually move the layer underneath. If that happens, you can just hit Control Z and it'll undo it for you. What you want to do to move the text is make sure that it is actually a move tool button. So you see that right now it's the move tool and that means that you're going to be able to move it around. So I'm going to move that down there and move that one right there. All right, beautiful. Now I'm going to go back to the text tool and I'm going to add in my name at the top. Um, now this looks like it's way too big. Let me change it to 200 and I like to put in little spaces in between my name. I think it looks nice. There we go. And notice in the text tool you can also move the text around and you might find that easier to do to move it when it's selected already like that. Um, so you can either move it when you're on the text tool or just use the move tool separately. All right, so just put in the title wherever you want it and then your name wherever you want it, usually at the top or the bottom, and then you're good to go. Um, all right, so we want to save this one last time just as an XCF file. And now what we're going to do is merge the layers, flatten the image, and save it as a JPEG. So right now it's saved as a GIMP file so that when you open it up, it'll have all these layers and you can play around with it, like if you don't want the gradient anymore, or you don't want the barn anymore, <laughs> or stuff like that. Um, but when we save it as a JPEG, it'll all be mushed together. And the way you're going to do that is to go over to the layer section, right click on any of the layers, go down to where it says Merge Visible Layers. And what we're going to do is I always clip to image and discard invisible layers and then hit merge. Notice what that does over here is it merges it all into one layer so you can't actually do anything with it now. You can't move the text around or anything like that. Now we also want to right click on this and go down to the very bottom where it says Flatten Image. And now what we're going to do is save it as a JPEG. So go to File, don't hit Save, hit Save As, and just change this to JPEG, and save. This will always pop up. I changed the quality to 100. I actually don't know <laughs> what that does. But now you have it saved as whatever your book title is, .jpg. 
And that's it. We're good to go. So I hope this tutorial has been useful for you. If you have any questions or anything like that, please just leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. If you're completely overwhelmed by this and you think it's entirely too hard for you to learn, um, I do do basic book covers starting from $10. So you can go to my website and check that out. And I also have links to a couple other people who do book covers as well. Um, so if this is too much for you, that's all right. You can get somebody else to make your book cover for you. But I hope that if you are going to do this on your own, that this tutorial has been helpful. All right, have a great day.